I've been using Adobe Premiere Pro over the last couple years on Windows 10, and I've had a problem while importing media files into my Adobe Premiere Pro project. The importing will complete successfully, but it takes an extended period of time, and the main UI for the Adobe Premiere Pro program will go into a non-responsive state. So I found a simple solution to it as long as you have an active subscription for Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. I'd like to start off with a demonstration of the problem using Adobe Premiere Pro 2020. This is version 14.9 of the program. So you can see if the symptoms on your system are matching up with my particular situation. I'm running on Windows 10 and I have been all along and I'm on the latest version of Windows 10's various sub-releases. And it doesn't seem to matter what version of Windows 10 I'm running, it just seems to always occur with version 14.9 and before. And that kind of gives you a clue to the solution here. I'm deleting the media cache here to make sure nothing of that influences the import process and it doesn't seem to matter if I do that or not, but just to demonstrate to you that I'm not using the media cache here to influence the behavior. I have a project I pre-created here. I have a default project template that I say it as a separate template file here and I'm going to drag and drop this particular file from my Canon N50 camera and it doesn't seem to matter which Canon M50 or my GoPros or Insta 361Rs, it doesn't seem to matter one way or the other. So it begins the process of copying the file. The media encoder has been spawned off as a separate task. And the generation of the peak file you can see in the lower right there. And things kind of look normal until about this point where you can see in the upper center, the Adobe Premiere Pro UI has gone into a non-responsive state. And the media encoder completes its task. And I'll move that out of the way here in just a moment. And you'll see that the Premiere Pro web, the UI just goes into this non-responsive state for an extended period of time. Because of that behavior, I've had that for a couple of years now, I just have to basically drag and drop the files or tell it to import the files by selecting them through the menu dialog and I have to walk away for an extended period of time. It does complete successfully, but it just takes this outrageous amount of time. So this is a sped up time-lapse version of the non-responding state for this one 2.1 gigabyte file. You can see it's taking well over two minutes here to complete that one file, and then it will get to the point where it's responsive. I can then save the project, but just for one 2.1 gigabyte file, it's taking way too long. Now, if I drag that onto the timeline here, we can see that there is the audio waveforms, all that's where it should be, and it looks right. It's just, it takes way too long for that to occur. And the solution is simply upgrading to Adobe Premiere Pro 2021, which is version 15.0.0, and I believe it's build 41, we'll see here in the About screen. That's it, there's a change in the back end that seems to resolve this problem. I've had this for over two years now, tried many different strategies to try to optimize this and fix this, and now upgrading to version 15 has resolved it. So we're gonna demonstrate the fact that it's much quicker going through and deleting the media cache files, just like I did with version 14.9, and make sure we're clean of any cache files influencing this process. And once we get this ready, we'll open a version 15 project that I pre-created here. That's again, based off my template that I have a sequence already created and I'll use that at the very end to drop the copied media file, video file into that to demonstrate that it's functional. And we'll do the drag and drop with the exact same file. Again, bring that over and drag that into the media browser, into my videos sub bin here that I have and kick that process off. The UI for Adobe Premiere Pro stays responsive. The media encoder gets kicked off to do the file copy in the background when I have it in front. And there was a peak file generation that was already taking place and completed in the lower right. We will see a flash of that at the very end here once it gets completed. This entire process only takes 32 seconds in version 15 of Adobe Premiere Pro 2021. And that's far better than the two and a half minutes that it took in version 14.9 of Adobe Premiere Pro 2020. And I'll copy this file over into the timeline and we have another peak file generation taking place and it's completed and the video file is usable in the timeline. So if you found this information to be helpful, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure you hit the bell notification to be notified when I upload new videos just like this to the channel. Thanks for coming to the channel and checking out and I'll see you in the next one.